So the prescription has been ordered. It's been properly documented. It's been properly transcribed. So now what happens? We come to the point in the process known as dispensing. And here again, typically, an appropriately trained individual in the pharmacy now has to gather the medication, acquire the actual medicines, could be a pill, could be a capsule, whatever formulation. It is the job of the pharmacist to identify the proper formulation of the prescribed medication and then to place that medication into an appropriate container for actual transmitting to the patient. And that is what we would call the dispensing process. Can anything go wrong in the dispensing process? Perhaps you could imagine the possibility that the pharmacist identified the wrong formulation, the wrong pill, the wrong capsule, the wrong vial for an injectable medication. It is possible that even if the proper formulation was identified, it's possible that the actual material that the pharmacist collected was out of date or its shelf life had been exceeded. In other words, the stability of that material in the pharmacy could no longer be guaranteed or assured to the patient. There's also the possibility that the pharmacist grabbed the wrong dose of the medication as opposed to the wrong formulation because sometimes tablets for various drugs can come in different dosages, five milligrams, 10 milligrams, 20 milligrams, even 100 milligrams. Sometimes 10 might be mistaken for 100, just as an example. So as you can see, there are possible errors that can occur in the actual dispensing process. More to come, and now we can talk about administration of the medication and ultimately proper monitoring of the medication.